Good afternoon. Today I'm going to guide you through setting up campaigns to increase your photo sales. Now most of you rely on organic traffic or people coming to the platform looking for photos or promoting it through your own marketplaces e.g. your Facebook and Twitter followings. Now this works for some of you but is very very limited. If you really want to increase your sales then you need to reach a much much larger audience and this applies with any platform. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go through using this photo of my dog Socrates and we're going to set up a product. We're going to determine which one of those products is most likely to be wanted by volume and then we're going to set up an advertising campaign on Google Ads to do this. So first of all we need to establish what product people want most out of the gift section. I don't believe people will want to buy a photo of a puppy. I don't believe people, unless it's theirs, obviously. I don't think people want to spend large amounts of money on pictures of someone else's puppy. So what I, but I do believe that people will probably want to spend money on something that has a cute picture of a puppy on. So we're going to start with using Google Trends and we're going to explore what the most popular gifts searched for are. So we're going to start with photo mugs. And you can see around Christmas it goes through the roof. Uh, let's have a look at acrylic photo key rings. Let's look at photo key rings. Much, much lower volume. Fridge magnets. Still pretty low volume. Photographic mouse mat. I'd be very surprised if this had much mat volume at all. Oops. Yeah, virtually non existent. And 300 piece photo jigsaw. So, photo jigsaw. So photo jigsaw and mouse mat are roughly the same, especially around this time of year, Christmas. So we're going to set up a mouse mat and a jigsaw. Now the next thing we need to do is determine the prices that we want. Let's get rid of all the ones we don't want. Uh, I don't want that. We don't want that. And uh, we don't want that. So we've narrowed this down to mugs and jigsaw. So let's have a look how much a photo jigsaw is on average. 30 piece. So, uh, sorry, 300 piece, because that's what we're selling. Ignore all the ads, although they're important in a minute. So a jigsaw Looking around in between eight and 20 pounds. Uh, so let's set the photo jigsaw at 9.99. Uh, that has been successful. So we now have the photo jigsaw. And then let's, the other one was photo mugs. So let's see how much a photo mug it is. Photo mug. Now these will vary in all sorts of prices, but we're looking for a custom one. But so we're looking at in between four and seven, four and nine, four and ten pounds. So what should we set the mug at? Photo mug. Let's go for seven ninety nine because it sits in between, gives me a nice margin. So we have now created our two products for this photo. Um, what we now need to do is go to Google Ads. So we're now at Google Ads. <coughs> we want to create a traffic stream that goes to our website to buy our image. So we're going to pick sales. We're going to pick search. Um, we're going to, we want web visits. Uh, and our website is the URL, oops, don't want that, is the URL that we've got the photo on. So it is that one. So we put that in and we continue. 
So we're going to create a campaign. This is going to be the jigsaw sales. So socks, jigsaw sales. And then we're going to pick the United Kingdom. Actually, we can add in, well, no, we'll stick with the United Kingdom. You can add in US and everything else. We've got English audiences we don't want to worry. We want to spend 10 pounds per day. You can make whatever you want up. I think the minimum is a pound a day. We want clicks. We want to set a maximum cost per click limit. Now, this is where your Google Analytics comes in useful. So if you look at your Google Analytics and then find out how many times, how many pages do people view when you look at your, when they look at your profile. Statistically speaking, I think it's about 15 or 16 pages from Google Ads across our platform. Um, I mean, we can just have a look as an example. It's audience. There we go. 17.29 pages per session. So if we want to make our money back and we assume that the average person looks at 17 pages per session and we make 0.25 cents per page view, 17 times 0.25, that is 4.25 pence per click. So we probably won't get one that low, but we're trying to make sales here. So let's go for 0.10 pence per click, which means we get roughly 50% of our money back without us having to make any sales. So we save and continue that. Set up our ad group. So this is socks, jigsaw, puzzle one. You can call these anything you want. So we want to enter the kicks as a jigsaw. Puzzle. Let's get some keywords. So here we go. We've got all of these keywords. As you can see, the average cost per click is five pence. We expect 17 clicks per day and it cost us 88p. So we will accept all of those and we will save and continue. Right, so the ads. Now, as an example, Let's look up a jigsaw puzzle. And these are the ads. This is where your ad is going to show. So if someone types in jigsaw puzzle, these are where you're going to go. Now you can see they're all different, but these companies like Photo Puzzle, John Lewis, Amazon will spend a lot of money working out what the best ad is to get their click. So jigsaw puzzle at amazon.co.uk. So we're going to do this. We're going to change this. We need to change this URL to jigsaw puzzles socks the shelty actually we'll do that the other way around socks the shelty jigsaw puzzles oops and make sure there's no spaces puzzles right so we then need some headlines right so let's look at our thing again so personalized jigsaw puzzles well this isn't personalized johnlewis.com jigsaw puzzles well we're going to go with uh, cute puppy jigsaw puzzles and we're going to add a new he's a Shetland sheepdog and then we're going to add from socks the shelty so what you'll then see is the ads coming in here cute pit puppy jigsaw puzzles from socks the shelty Shetland sheepdog make it the Shetland Sheepdog. We need to sell that probably. Right. Add the headline. So these are from old ads. Don't know what they're doing there. So the description. So let's look back here at these descriptions again. Unleash their creative with our range of toys, shop devices from Amazon, shop Gibson's, Raven. Get the perfect jigsaw puzzle for you with excellent prices on already. Let's have a look at this, shall we? So get this cute puppy jigsaw puzzles today made in the UK as we're selling into the UK ship before Christmas no let's not put that in because whilst they are shipped before Christmas COVID is causing some dents so you don't want to put over promise made in the UK money back guarantee as that is what happens and you can see 
get down here, get this cute pig's jig puppy jigsaw puzzle today, get these rather than this. Uh, just always make sure it's accurate spelling wise. Get these cute puppy jigsaw puzzles today, made in the UK and money back guarantee isn't showing there yet but we'll show up there. So we then save and continue. Checks our campaign. So it reckons it'll cost us 31 pence a day to get seven clicks. So we're not talking of massive amounts of money here. Um, you can obviously create more ads to improve your campaign performance, but that's down to you to explore. We're not gonna go through every single perme permeation here because we'd be here all day. It's to give you an idea of what it does. Publish. And that is now live. So all we have to do is Come back in a couple of days and we'll have a look through here. We'll look at the costs and we'll see if we've got any sales. I hope this has given you an idea of how to expand your sales and put something together for very little or very little cost to hopefully increase your sales. Now I would like to point out this is not guaranteed sales. It is guaranteed traffic, uh, or at least as close to it as you can possibly get. It is down to you to refine your ads to find out what people want to buy and you need to make sure that your advertise your advertising reflects that now of course I did this with very very slim margins um, so the click per cost has to be very very low otherwise you end up losing money if of course you're making 10 15 20 30 pounds or more then you can either, you can afford to have a much much higher bid or bid on a lot more words um, which of course then means that you have a higher uh, rate of return. But I think it would be very difficult to do this unless it was something that people really, really wanted and there wasn't a saturated amount of imagery available, e.g. on stock photo sites or something where people can get those images for free and, it, and then just print them. So when you are selling products, you need to make sure they are unique, they are not commonly available and you've then got yourself a winning combination if you can put it in line with this Google ad system. I wouldn't use Facebook advertising. I personally don't warrant it and I think Facebook figures are fake and it's very, very expensive. For example, Facebook will charge you $10 per thousand impressions uh, even if no one does anything or clicks on anything which you'll end up losing money very, very, very quickly. So CPC, which is what Google ads is, which is cost per click, is the way to go for something like this. Um, if you have any questions or would like me to go into any detail of this in any more, any specific area of this in more detail, then please comment below and I will put something together to show you this. If we don't speak again, I hope you all have a good Christmas and I look forward to seeing more spontaneous growth, more sales and more features coming in next year. Enjoy your Christmas and take, your, take care of yourselves.